Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome to a new video. Now in this video we're going to unpack this very long awaited package which should contain something that I'm hoping is of your interest. So let's go ahead and open this thing straight away. So it got here pretty quickly actually. It was uh, sent with uh, FedEx, which is quite uncommon actually. Because most of the times things that come from China are not sent with FedEx. In fact, I didn't even know they had FedEx over there. Let's cut it like this. So, there you go. It got here pretty quick, which is very cool. All right. Yeah, it's kind of like a box in a box. So it actually got here pretty quickly, like I was saying. Uh, they sanded it out with FedEx, which is quite a little bit better. And it is a solder dispensing controller. Now it was pretty expensive at around 85 euros but yeah so this thing allows you to actually output a set amount of X so may it be solder may it be glue as long as it's um, as long as it's able to be connected to this device you can use it to output it also has a uh, this is this needs to be tightened a little this ring was loose so it's the AD982 and as I've said you can use this potential meter to actually set the time they also included a schematic of the device which is rather interesting and they included a uh, pneumatic air system uh, overview, which is also really nice. This is it. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger than it is, than it is which is not very uh, not a big deal. But yeah, I was just expecting it to be a little bit bigger. Now the pressure gauge is not zeroed out properly, as you'd expect which is yeah no no problem uh, it runs on 220 volts AC 50 Hertz it has a fuse and it has uh, various inputs well let's start at the front so you've got the on off switch the auto mode manual mode I think the manual mode allows you to keep the pedal pressed down and as long as you've got the pedal pressed down it will actually dispense solar uh, solar paste so as long as you keep the, the pedal down, it will actually dispense solar paste. So time knob, as I said before, this is the, the duration, the length of the dispense uh, when this is set to auto mode. Air pressure, uh, you can control the pressure of air that enters the system or enters the hose. I'm not sure which one of the two. I think enters the hose but so yeah and I think that, that that this gauge will indicate the air pressure that will be outputted once you press the pedal uh, vacuum knob now I'm not really sure where it gets its vacuum from is that listed over here Ah, vacuum venturi. So it creates its own vacuum, and I believe that the vacuum is used to suck uh, the dispensable back a little, so that you don't uh, over dispense, which is quite nifty. This is where you connect your tool, and this is where you connect the air supply. And these are the drip settings. I think that the drip. The drip dip switch selections are written out in the manual. Yeah, there you go. Dip, 
drip switch. Wow! Dip drip switch. That's quite a mouthful. The dip drip switch is, uh, yeah, it's written out over here in the manual. So, yeah. So, let's see what's in the box below the dispenser. Oh, all the accessories. Oh, so this is the dispensing syringe. Yeah, dispensing syringe. And it allows you to actually um, connect it to the device. So let's, let's put this aside and let's continue. This is a handle that you can attach to the syringe like this so that you can just push it uh, with your hands and dispense it in that way of course AC cable foot switch you can also use a foot switch Ooh, it actually feels really nice and oh these are just caps for the syringe so they give you two syringes but I think that if you buy a different adapter for this, that you can also use your own syringes. And a bracket. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the bracket to be here. Is there something written about the bracket in the manual? No. There is not. Could this be a... Hmm. Oh well, let's just put this aside. Let's open up this little package. Be careful not to actually cut the pneumatic line open. So these can all connect to your syringe, to the front of your syringe, which is really cool. This allows you to clip it onto the syringe. Wow, that's a really good fit. Down. And then you'll need to turn it so that it can grip onto the end of the syringe, like so. Wow, that's a really good fit, man. I wasn't expecting the fit to be that good. Ooh, oi, I already broke it. Nice. Oops. So don't grip it by the plastic sides. So with your dispenser facing towards you insert the hose into this thing and then just push it down and now it's installed you can just insert the thing you want into this syringe and it will allow you to dispense now I was hoping that it would also fit this syringe since this one is just still full of solar paste but but it looks like it isn't really going to fit. I might be able to actually get a smaller adapter. Let's try and let's turn it on actually, because I'm pretty curious to know what happens. If this thing goes up in flames or if it doesn't. So first let's actually check if this thing is grounded properly. Wow. It's not. There's a 60 ohms path towards the outside of the machine. So that's not properly earthed. So... Yeah, that's a shame. So let's turn it on. Let's connect the syringe adapter. And let's... So we need to connect it to the foot switch. Is there something at the front? No, there's nothing at the front. So we need to connect it to the foot switch, which is at the back. And into the handle. That's really cool. Now, if I disable auto. Yeah, you can see that whenever you hold it, it will open up.
So let's actually turn it off and take it apart because I'm curious to know how they've done the earthing on this thing. Because it's really bad. There you go. This is the control circuitry. And I think that I can already see what the problem might actually be. They might be using a the wrong terminal. So yeah, they're not using the correct termination point. So I'm going to desolder this and then I'm going to create something that fits on this screw, which is much better. Looks like they didn't even heat shrink the thing correctly. Which is quite a shame. So let's remove this. And let's connect this one. Like so. So let's just I think it does and let's see what the continuity is between the earth need and this screw yeah that's much better that's good enough so this isn't the perfect earthing solution but it's good enough for me it makes proper contact which is what we wanted it's a pretty complicated system actually of uh, Pneumatic and electronics. Looks really good for a Chinese product. So let's close her up, make sure that all the wiring goes in between, and let's find the screws that actually go on the back. There we go. Now in the next video I'll probably connect a compressor to this thing, which is uh, which connects to the back of of the device, and I need to figure out something to actually connect the power, but we'll figure that out. So I will create a review video when this is finally up and running. I will do some test solder boards and I'll leave my thoughts on this thing for you to entertain yourself with. So let's test it one more time now with the improved earthing to make sure that this thing doesn't just blow itself up. So sometimes when you turn it on, it actually goes on. Not sure what that is, but. So really cool, really nifty device. I'm hoping to use this a lot in the near future because I do have some plans for PCB production around here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to share that on the channel just yet, but who knows what the future might hold. So thanks guys for watching this video. I'm uh, really looking forward to, uh, to hearing from you to actually see what you think of this device. Because it has been on my wish list for quite some time now, and I finally managed to uh, to buy one actually. So, thanks guys. The link to this product will be in the description below. So make sure to check it out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.